Remember in grade school when we learned about the Battle of the Ironclads during the Civil War? Well, the first USS Minnesota was the prize they were fighting over. During the Battle of Hampton Roads in March 1862, the USS Minnesota went into shallow waters to avoid the Confederate ironclad CSS Virginia. Unfortunately, the Minnesota ran aground and was attacked and damaged. The ironclad USS Monitor arrived the next day and engaged the Virginia. The Virginia eventually withdrew and the Minnesota was recovered. Three US Navy ships have been named the USS Minnesota, going all the way back to the Civil War. The first was built in 1855 and was named after the Minnesota River, since Minnesota didn't achieve statehood until 1858. The Minnesota Historical Society has a piece of the first USS Minnesota's hull, as well as two of the most important parts of the ship, the wheel and the bell. The impressiveness of the ship's wheel, or helm, is obvious. At over six feet tall, it required two helmsmen to operate, six helmsmen in foul weather. But the bell, while not so instantly dramatic, is also interesting. Bells were assigned to ships based on the size of the vessel, so sailors would know by the sound what other boats were on the water with them. The bell likely weighs more than 500 pounds, but we don't have a scale capable of weighing it. The Minnesota was decommissioned in 1865 but brought back into service from 1875 until 1901 as a naval training ship. Cass Gilbert, the architect of the Minnesota State Capitol, petitioned the federal government for an artifact from the ship for the new Minnesota State Capitol building, which is how these came to us. The second USS Minnesota was a pre-dreadnought battleship that served in World War I. The current USS Minnesota is a Virginia-class attack submarine launched in 2013. Both the wheel and the bell are now on display at the Minnesota History Center in the Gale Family Library. Come see the real thing. The library is free and open to the public.